Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everybody is doing great today. Today I'm coming at you with a Wear OS app review. And um, this app I downloaded uh, particularly just to use myself. I really wasn't planning on doing a review on it because it's a pretty simple app. However, it has become one of the most useful apps that I have. And that app is called Shake Launcher. Shake Launcher is just, <laughs> just like the name says, you shake your watch and it launches something. And right now I have mine set to where if I shake my hand arm twice, I automatically get Google Assistant. And as you can tell, Google Assistant is working good on there. That has uh, one of the most useful features I can think of on my watch for, for a while because I use Google Assistant all the time. Right now I had it triggered to a button, but now after been using this for a couple weeks, I'm actually going to change my button to uh, trigger something else because it is so reliable that it works pretty much every single time. And so I'm going to go into uh, show you this app, go into the settings, show you how to get it set up and get it going pretty good, get it using. So let's get it up into our app drawer here. It is this little shake. <laughs> Cute little icon right there. So you open that up and really it's a super simple app. Like I said, you're going to get just a series of settings on here and that's it. And we're going to go through each one of these settings. And the first one is the one that you want to set up uh, the first and that is apps to launch. Now this thing will go from one shake all the way down to 10 shakes. So if you want to sit there and shake your hand 10 times, uh, <laughs> good luck with that. I only have two and three um, shakes set up, so I don't look like uh, a crazy man spinning my hand around. I had one shake set up. I do not recommend that, not because it doesn't work well. The problem is you use that motion for your hand all the time. The first time I noticed it is when I paid. And so when you put your hand down to pay and then you pull it back up, it triggers that shake. And so then it would trigger whatever I had set for that. And then also when you're just relaxed and your, your uh, watch goes to sleep, you know, we have a tendency to kind of go like that to wake it back up just like that. Bam. And it would uh, trigger that action which is not cool so right now i have two shakes set for assistant and three shakes set for uh google home so i can control my home for my watch if i need to uh, if i don't want to talk to google assistant which most of the time i just talk to an assistant uh, there is one bug on this uh, app right now i'm going to have to let the developer know and that is if you go back it goes all the way back to the launcher instead of where you were at so that's kind of a pain we're going to be messing with that for a little bit screen off shake so right here as you can see the screen off shake duration is how uh how long shakes will be recognized after the screen either turns off or enters ambient mode uh please note that selecting unlimited will cause an increase in battery drain you get a battery drain uh, i'm assuming it's running in the background somehow but i haven't noticed any particular extra battery drain since i've installed it and i've used it for um a couple of weeks now so but anyways you can set that up to five seconds ten seconds unlimited i've just left it at five seconds it seems to work just fine for me uh vibration so when you when you trigger the action it will actually vibrate to let you know that the action was triggered which is actual handy so you not sitting there wondering if it actually triggered it'll vibrate and then launch whatever you have launched up there and then the next setting is screen on time so the time set uh, in the screen on time menu is the duration that your screen will remain on after launching your app of choice. Uh, this is useful for shaking, launching uh, voice assistant apps like I got right now. Uh, I have it set right there and it seems to work just fine for me. The 10 seconds and then you have launch today and that the launch delay is the duration of the time that you have shake your wrist after a previous shake. So if you shake it once, you open it up, it's going to wait however long you tell it to. Uh, before it thinks you're doing a shake again and I got mine one second so I've not had any problems with that I just use it the one time and the one second so it can go back to you know sensing for a shake after a second perfectly no problem and then the next one is shake for so this is the level of shake that you need to do um, for this particular one uh, it comes out of the box at level three I tried that for a while I was getting a couple of of uh, mysterious launches but i changed it to level four which is what i have it on now and level four works good so level four works really good i haven't had uh hardly any accidental 
uh, triggers since I've changed it to level four. And, uh, you know, you're not shaking your hand like a uh, crazy person. And then you have post launch delay here. Uh, and so this is the number of shakes you have completed when launching the app. So it gives you how much time um, you got before. So, you know, you hit one shake and then it's going to wait for at least a second. What I have mine set to before it, it says, okay, you're not shaking it anymore. So if you're doing the three shake or two shake, uh, you need to do those two, sh that second shake or third shake uh, within that one second period after the last shake. Hope that makes sense. I'm not sure if that makes sense. A few FAQs in here. Uh, nothing too special in there. Here's that bug again. Uh, and then you can turn it on or off right from here. So if you want to turn it off so you don't want to use it for whatever reason, you can turn it off because the app is installed still without having to uninstall the app. Turn it off, which I think is a handy feature. And just to go you real quick, I'm going to show you, <laughs> cue the middle of your music, what you can uh, create. And basically, you can launch just about anything. If you're a Tasker user, you can launch a Tasker task. I am not a Tasker user, so I haven't been able to test that out. But if you are a Tasker user, you can launch a Tasker task. You can launch pretty much any app you have on your phone. As you can see, I have a ton of apps on my watch, on your phone, I meant on your watch. Uh, and then you can get your open your settings. Uh, pretty much any app that you want to launch, you can launch. One thing it will not do is it does not launch like a specific setting. So if you know you want to turn your watch on silent or turn sound on or something like that, it does not. It does not have that particular one. It actually is just a launcher of apps. But uh, that's it, guys. That is this whole app here. And as you could, you could just give it a nice shake there. And there you go. It just works perfectly every time. And if you want to do a three shake, uh, you can do a three shake and then it'll open up your home or whatever you got set up. It works really good. It opens the app pretty swiftly. Uh, super handy if you're trying to, you know, uh, use no hands. And I think that's how I found the app itself is, uh, I, I read it somewhere. Somebody was trying to figure out a way to launch something without touching the watch. And somebody mentioned this particular launcher and I jumped on that right away because that's just handy. And here it is in the play store. It is a pay app, but it is only a dollar 99. Uh, and I've told you just over the last two weeks, I've gotten my dollar 99 worth out of it. Uh, it's made by Wisco apps. Uh, great app. Uh, it just got updated, so the uh, developer is updating the app, which is great, and uh, hopefully gets that bug, that back bug figured out. But other than that, guys, uh, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you hanging out to the end, and I will see you on the next one.